most welcome to the channel Mathematica ATD. Subscribe the channel for the latest videos and tutorials. Press the bell icon and never miss any new update. Friends, today's topic is algebraic analysis of two complex numbers. Here we learn the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of the complex numbers, two complex numbers. Also we shall learn the multiplicative inverse. The first one is addition. Let us consider two examples. Say two complex numbers respectively Z1 and Z2. They are respectively 2 plus 3i and another one is 5 minus 5i. Now we shall add these two complex numbers. So adding we get Z1 plus Z2 is equal to 2 plus 3i plus 5 minus 5i. So how to add? We have to add the real part with the real part and the imaginary to imaginary part. So this is equal to 2 plus 5 plus 3i minus 5i. So this is equal to 7 plus minus 2i. That is equal to 7 plus i into minus 2. So you see that this one is actually of the form a plus ib which is a complex number 7 plus i into minus 2. Similarly if we subtract second condition that is the subtraction. So in subtraction if we subtract this to the z2 from z1 then we shall find 2 plus 3i minus 5 minus 5i so that 2 minus 5 that is real part will be subtracted from the real part and similarly the imaginary parts also plus 3i minus of minus that means plus 5i that is equal to minus 3 plus i into 7 again you see that this is in the form of a plus ib where a is equal to negative 3 and b is equal to positive 7. So we have learned two topics. These are respectively addition and subtraction. Now we shall learn the multiplication and division. Let us consider again two arbitrary examples of complex numbers. Say they are respectively z1 and z2 2 plus 3i another one is 3 plus i so we multiply z1 with z2 so z1 into z2 is equal to 2 plus 3i into 3 plus i so how to multiply this is very simple see this will follow the distributive property this way and this way so 2 3 is a 6 plus 2 into i that is 2i plus 3i into 3 9i 3i into i 3i square now what is i square i square is equal to minus 1 so 3i square is equal to minus 3 so this is 6 minus 3 plus 2i plus 9i so this is 3 plus i into 11 so again you see that this is of the form a plus ib which is a complex number now we shall divide z1 by z2 so z1 is 2 plus 3i and z2 is 3 plus i so how to divide we have to we have 
we shall first of all multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The denominator is 3 plus i. Its conjugate is 3 minus i. So multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 minus i. So this one is so we shall follow a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square means 3 square minus i square and this one is again we shall follow the distributive property this is 2 3 is a 6 minus 2i plus 9i minus 3i square 3i square is equal to negative 1 so this is plus 1 actually so this will be 6 plus 1 sorry 6 plus 3 plus minus 2i plus 9i whole by 9 plus 1 so this is equal to 9 plus 7i whole by 10 so we split it this will be 9 over 10 plus i into 7 over 10 so this is again a plus i into b which is a complex number now we shall learn the fifth topic that is multiplicative inverse what is multiplicative inverse dear friends this is also an interesting topic Two complex numbers Z1 and Z2 are called multiplicative inverse to each other. Then Z1 and Z2 is equal to 1. Let us consider that Z1 is equal to X plus IY. So if Z is equal to X plus Y be the complex number, then its multiplicative inverse will be 1 by z that is 1 by x plus i y this is multiplicative inverse so again we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator so this is x minus i y over x plus i y into x minus i y such that the denominator is x square minus i square y square and the numerator is as usual so this is x minus i y divided by x square plus y square so we shall split it now this one is x by x square plus y square plus i into minus y by x square plus y square so again we see that this is a complex number this one is a and this is b so a plus i into b which is a complex number so friend the multiplicative inverse of z1 is this one thank you